In this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of sharing your mobile screen with your Windows 11 PC or laptop. No third-party tools or applications are needed, just a seamless, built-in method. Make sure your Windows 11 PC and your mobile phone are connected to the same network. This can be the same Wi-Fi network or a shared mobile hotspot. On your PC or laptop, right-click the Windows icon and select Settings. From the left-hand menu, click System, then scroll down and select Projecting to this PC. If you encounter an error, like a message saying Miracast or Projecting is not supported, don't worry. Ensure your Windows updates and network drivers are up to date. Now click Add an optional feature. Add an optional features, click on View Features button. Search for Wireless Display in the list. Check the box, click Next, then click Add button. Wait a few minutes for the feature to be installed. It will take some time, be patient. Once installed, go back to System, then Projecting to this PC option. Change the first setting to Available Everywhere on Secure Network from the drop-down. Under Ask to project to this PC, select every time connection is required. For pairing pin, set it to never to avoid unnecessary prompts. After the setting, now click launch the wireless display app option. You'll now see a screen that says your PC is ready for projection. On your smartphone, swipe down to access the quick settings menu. Look for options like screencast, miracast, sharecast or wireless display. Tap on your phone's screencast feature. On my device, it's labeled screencast. In screencast option, tap on search for display devices. It will search our laptop wireless connection. Here you see it is showing my laptop. Now tap on it, then start now so we can screencast our entire screen in laptop display. You'll notice how smooth the casting is. Now, you can enjoy viewing your mobile apps, photos, and more directly on a bigger screen without any third-party software. If it doesn't work the first time, repeat the steps above. This method is highly reliable, and with a little patience, it should work seamlessly for you. If you want to turn off casting, then press Ctrl plus S to stop the casting. That's it for today's tutorial. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now.